Hi, so you are interested to learn how to publish from um, Obsidian to WordPress. Actually, I have to change this here. Give me a second. Obsidian to WordPress. Okay, so in this video, I'm showing how you uh, need to set up WordPress, what you need to do in Obsidian. Uh, I show you how I actually publish a post and I explain a few things to you. Um, I pass on my learnings I made while, while doing that for a while now. Okay, so first uh, I'm switching over here to my WordPress site um, and I will create a new user and that user is specifically used only for transferring my Obsidian posts to or notes to WordPress posts. So I'm giving this user name called O2VP. O2VP. Uh, I'm giving this an email called Rolf plus O2VP um, and giving it a very weak password. And I strongly advise you to do not the same. Test one, two, three, confirm use of weak password. And now I'm giving this user the author permission. So the user, this WordPress user O2WP has the rights to create the post in WordPress. And uh, basically that's it. So I click on uh, add new and switch over here to my site. And I now go to the plugin section. And in the plugin section, I, I have a plugin activated, which is called WordPress REST API Authentication. So you want to install this plugin, WordPress REST API Authentication. It's published by Mini Orange. Let me show you what it looks like. So you pick the right one. Published by Mini Orange and WordPress REST API Authentication. You can install it by browsing uh, in the left-hand navigation to plugins and add new. So when you have done that, you click on configure. Let me zoom out a bit. You want to choose basic authentication, username and password with base64 encoding, click next. And O2VP test one, two, three. You see. So you enter the newly created user details and click finish. So WordPress is now configured to receive posts from Obsidian. Next up is configuring Obsidian. So in the left-hand navigation, you see the settings panel. Uh, you click on community plugins, browse community plugins and search for WordPress. You can see I already have it installed, but you will see this uh, WordPress plugin um, created by a user called DevBean. It's already in use by 12,000 um, accounts. And you can install it here, or in my case, I can update it. Once you have done that, you go back to the settings screen and on the bottom left, you will see WordPress settings, the community plugins WordPress. And you add your website URL, which is in my case, freshvonroot.com. You will choose REST API authentication by Mini Orange, show icon in sidebar. I'm leaving that on because I'm using this feature very often. And default post status is draft. I advise you to do that too. Okay, once you have done that, we are ready to take a test. So uh, I have here this note, which is called link in the comments. And I want to publish this to my WordPress page. I'm clicking the WordPress icon. And this screen comes up. And as you can see here, uh, I have added my user details previously already. Um, you can uh, say, remember username and password if you want and click on login. And then you land at the screen where you can uh, select the category. So I want to publish this post in the category of WordPress and website creation, and the post data should be draft. Publish. Post published successfully. Now I'm switching back to WordPress. Go to posts. Uh, and here it is it already. Now let's take a look what we have here. The first thing you will note is that this is a classic editor widget. So you want to convert this to blocks before you start formatting it. Um, and you can also see it's a text only post. Um, it's not possible to transfer images that you pasted in your Obsidian node to um, WordPress. I hope that this feature comes at some point, but right now it's not working. And what's important for you to change here is change the author to your own name. Well, 
whoever you want to publish in its name of. You can change the categories, the tags, the featured image. So all these tiny little details that are related to this WordPress post, you have to do it here in WordPress and not in Obsidian. Uh, once you are done, you can hit publish. And also what you need to know is if I publish again here in WordPress, uh, from Obsidian to WordPress, publish, it creates a new post. So it doesn't update the post I already published from Obsidian. You can see there's now a second post. So once you started the publishing process from Obsidian to WordPress, you, you should continue further edits only within WordPress because uh, then you create different versions, one in Obsidian, one in WordPress, and it gets messy. So uh, only your, your best, best draft should land in WordPress and then continue editing uh, in, in WordPress. There's also a written tutorial on how to set this up and some more uh, advice in the blog post, which is linked in the description of this YouTube video. I hope this was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments.